Janani. And I'm Sadhar. And this is Achintya. Achintya is now 10 months old. And from the day he was born, he has not used a single disposable diaper. He has only been wearing cloth, or sometimes mm -hmm. nothing, but mostly cloth, mm -hmm. through his uh, short life. Um, and we wanted to explain a little bit about what we've done to enable this. Um, so the first thing that we did was we crowdsourced cloth uh, to make diapers for him. Newborn babies and uh, even at his age now, his, his skin is so sensitive that we've only been using soft cotton cloths from uh, old the lungis or dhotis, from old saris, old dupattas, and uh, it's been really good for his skin, therefore. So ask your uncles, aunties, uh, grandmothers for all of their old cotton things and start to make two different kinds of things from it. Okay. Um, so one kind of thing is just keep a lot of pieces of cloth uh, okay. because so as uh, a friend Arvinda pointed out, uh, she said the baby is going to do what they are naturally doing. We shouldn't be waterproofing the baby, but we should waterproof the area around it, uh, around the baby. <laughs> and so uh, by just having a lot of cloth of various sizes, you can ensure that the baby is always, if they're on any surface, they're sitting on cloth, there's cloth between them and their rug. Um, and so when they do what they do naturally, it's caught on the cloth, you pull out the cloth, put it aside and change the, and have a fresh piece of cloth. So just cut a lot of nice large squares, rectangles of cloth that are available. All of these uh, simple squares and rectangles in the first few months of your baby's life will go on top of the rubber sheet that you're putting the baby on. So we've also cut up small bits of rubber sheet. So this that is a large one. This is a rather large one. We might need half of this for a newborn. Uh, you can put this on your lap, on the bed, underneath the baby. Put a cloth uh, on top of that rubber sheet. Put the baby on the cloth. There's another cloth between the baby and the rug. So that's one way of you, one um, shape that you need to be cutting. The other one is what would eventually become the diaper for your baby. So this is what Achintya is currently using. Um, this is a bit of an origami. So it starts off that size for a newborn. It's actually just a square piece of cloth. with one loop in the middle. So what happens is you take this square, you fold it so that the loop is parallel to the fold. And if you notice, the loop will be slightly off center for this square piece of cloth. You then do a, uh, you take this end and you form a triangle out of it. At this step, it's going to look like this. The loop is at the bottom here. You turn it around and this extra flap of cloth becomes a bit of padding. Keep the, babies, keep the baby here, fold it over, and you can then use this loop to tie a little knot. This makes it really comfortable, and in the initial uh, few months of the baby being born, it will absorb every um, it will absorb quite a bit of the pee that the baby would do. It will not get much beyond this. You can see that there's a lot of size difference as you as he grows older. Achintya is now at the stage where he doesn't need these anymore. He should ideally be graduating to um, normal under underwear, but we will buy that once the lockdown is done. Uh, for now, you will re these are rectangular pieces. You will notice because we don't need more padding we do need an extra uh, amount around the width. So we fold it across the long end and then it's the same situation. The uh, loop. Yeah. The loop is there. We fold it, this into a triangle. You then take this end and you fold it up to create some padding. The baby's bottom goes there. That's the diaper. This is the second thing that we did with cotton dhotis or saris or uh, dupattas and uh, we had about 30 of these in the initial few days, uh, initial couple of months just because the
the baby pees that often and you need to change it that often, you need that much of a bank for traveling. Start with a 20 into 20 inch square. That's going to be a perfect size for an average newborn. It will give you a little bit of room to grow as well. That's the size. So, those and, are the two things. And then how you clean it. So, mm -hmm. we've spoken a lot about using used cloth, he pees in it, and then what do you do? Uh, so, in, in your bathroom, keep a bucket with a little water and just toss the used, the soiled diapers in there. Uh, if, if in case he's uh, pooped in it, then have a scrub at your sink and just scrub it off first and then toss it in the water. Uh, you can add a little bit of mild soap if you like, but uh, the urea in urine basically only smells if it's allowed to dry. Uh, it's very soluble in water and doesn't smell in that water very much. So just uh, let it soak in water until you're ready to wash it. Uh, if you're washing by hand, just a couple of rinses until it's not uh, smelling is sufficient and then you can dry it out in the sun. Um, if, if you're putting it through a machine, you can use uh, like a soft, uh, any soft, gentle, nice, detergent. gentle detergent because you also don't want like harsh detergents getting on it. <laughs> so, um, we Dr. Robert, to, we oh, did this, yeah. just, just as a, before we get to that point, we did this everywhere we went whether we were traveling at a friend's house, a relative's house, and uh, this is super easy to do. One small, uh, either the rubber sheet or a plastic cover to carry around the wet but clean clothes in. You don't have to be carrying around dirty diapers at all because yeah. there's always a bathroom available wherever you're going. Um, so that was good, super, getting back to your point. Yeah, um, so Dr. Robert Anthony, who's a, a pediatric surgeon, uh, here in Bangalore, was very happy when he saw Achintya uh, and saw that he was using cloth diapers because he pointed out that um, what ends up happening with the disposable diapers that uh, a baby sits in for a good amount of time because you use only about five to six in a day um, is that because they're so absorbent and completely waterproof, you can't realize that the baby has soiled the diaper. Um, and especially for girl children, because uh, uh, the urethra. yeah because their urethra is directly open into the diaper, uh, if there's any poop that gets in there, that can cause urinary tract infections. And obviously, with a baby, that that mix will be there. So, with a cloth diaper, um, he has always known immediately after. Uh, he soiled it and he's made it very clear to us quite loudly <laughs> and we come and we change it and he's dry and then he's happy. So he's a much cleaner, happier baby for having done this. Yeah, um, it sound, might sound a little complicated, uh, difficult, but there are a couple of things we've done to that makes it really easy. Uh, one thing is we now have uh, exciting technology and <laughs> new ways of looking and designing things. This is a cloth diaper cover and it usually comes with something that looks like this. These are inserts and they they feel a little bit like the turkey towels that we have, but they're very soft and they're made to be highly absorbent. Um, and and so, so these diaper covers, as you can see, often come with many different uh, buttons. buttons over here. And the idea for this set of vertical buttons over here is to enable you to size it differently. So for example, for a smaller baby, I can just do that. And you can see that the whole the whole diaper cover is a lot smaller. You'll also see that um, these buttons on this side, uh, this actually is a pretty cool design by Nate Diapers, um, and it comes with a detachable side. So you can actually completely resize all of this. So feel free to experiment and have fun. Yeah. Uh, this is this is supposed to be for waist size. So you can decide if your baby only has this much of a waist or if it has a lot more of a waist. Um, the diaper inserts go in here. Uh, you then put this on the baby's bottom very much like you would use a disposable diaper. 
but you can then wash and use the whole thing. Uh, it could be that you're just changing these, it could be that you're putting this for wash as well. Uh, a tip that we've realized is that until your baby is more settled into his or her or their poop routines, uh, use just a cotton cloth, uh, what you would have used underneath the baby or in as diapers, inside this kind of a diaper, so that it's easier to scrub. These absorb pee really well, but they're a little more difficult to get poop stains out of. It's easier if it's just a cotton cloth. Uh, this is what we've used when traveling, yeah. especially after he was three months old, when he was a little bigger and more able to do all of those things. And from the age of uh, six months, we've been using this through the night. So actually from the age of six months, three of us have been sleeping through the night uh, very comfortably. Yeah. Right? And yeah, uh, you, you don't necessarily have to get a ton of these inserts. We pretty much only use them when traveling. At home, if we want, we can just put multiple layers of cloth uh, and, and and that absorbs. One reason is, especially during the monsoon, this takes a really long time to dry. Uh, whereas the cloth can just be unfolded and it will dry quite quickly. By really long, we mean it takes a day to dry, not much more than that. <laughs> but, so that is one thing, you do go through a lot of washing and the easy way to do that is to keep that uh, bucket of water in your bathroom and then put put that through a wash cycle the way you would do any other clothes that you have in your house. Okay. Um, then, yes, so we've covered the fact that you would um, not have UTIs. You also, we've not had any diaper rashes with him through his uh, infanthood, which is very usual when you have disposable diapers. And most of our diapers and diaper covers and cloth have come to us hand-me-down. Because the pretty cool thing about this is between babies, you can sanitize it and just hand it over to the next baby to use. Because the more you wash it, the softer it becomes and the easier it becomes to use. Uh, which means we have not spent... I think we bought one set of diapers. And the diaper covers. And those diaper huh. covers. Other than that, we have yeah. not spent money on his diapers at all. And if you think of a baby using five to six uh, disposable diapers a day, and you multiply that for at least, say, 10 months, um, that's... Two years is what people years. tend to do. Okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> making the multiplication. Um, but, okay, so say 700 days. So that's like, yeah, 3,500 uh, 3,500 disposable diapers that is mixed waste going into a landfill, no hope of any kind of reclamation or cleaning for it. Yeah. Versus these things that have just been handed down from baby to baby and made from uh, the old clothes of grandparents and aunts and family. Mm. So and that brings us to the final, uh, to another point, uh, which is by the time he was about three months old, we started uh, practicing what uh, a friend taught us of elimination communication, is what it's called, long name. It's, it's what people in India have been doing for years. And it's just that disposable diapers and city culture have led for it to be forgotten. It's ra rather simple. Um, you start recognizing cues from your baby about when he or she wants to eliminate. That's either pee or poop. Uh, but, uh, initially, it's off every time after a feed and every time after they wake up. It's very easy to just lift them up and hold them over a sink in this kind of a spot. So, he's supported against my chest over here and my... Uh, so... Uh, squatting is a lot easier if you're trying to get stuff out. Um, and so he feels a lot more comfortable. I remember before uh, before he could sit up, he would actually have a really hard time if he was lying down and trying to poop. He'd make all kinds of faces, faces and really strain because gravity was not there to help. Um, so once he was three months old, we started doing that and then... Once he was a little older, we got him this potty. Then we just sit him on it, 
and whenever he's done with his stuff, we take it and we can just directly clean it out. Not many different kinds of potties available out there, but this has meant that um, now he's 10 months old. For the last five months, really, we haven't been uh, cleaning that many poopy diapers because he just finds it a lot easier uh, to tell us when he's going and we just go and hold him over the sink or once he's heavier, put, hold him over this. I think one of the differences that's interesting to note is the reason they call it elimination communication and not potty training is that you're not training your baby, you're paying attention to what they want to communicate to you. So if he's making faces and wants to go to the bathroom, you take him to the bathroom. If it is that um, you know that he has a full bladder the moment he wakes up, take him to the bathroom. And you have fun there. So yeah. Siddharth and most, for the first few months it was mostly Siddharth in the bathroom with him. Now, and that's because she was on input duty and I was on output duty. <laughs> so every morning they'd have a whole conversation in the bathroom about what they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. The whole house would know when he woke up. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, we, I think we've covered everything we wanted to cover. And I think I know that he has uh, decided he has other things to do in life than sit here. But uh, we are not the only ones. There are lots of people out there. We are definitely not the inventors of anything here. Uh, it's all stuff that we learn from other people. And uh, please reach out to us, to other people you know. Uh, check out, there's, I'm sure there's a bunch of Facebook groups and WhatsApp groups and um, yeah. websites that can help you with this kind of thing. There is one last thing that we forgot. Um, I realized this when, so my grandmother used to use a lot of these cloths without the loop to try to tie diapers for him. And I was very confused as to why she would do that. And then I realized after we got this thread put on him, the thing that's quite traditional for babies around India, is that it's very convenient to use uh, little cloths and just tuck it in here. And that's his, um, that's his diaper so for the day. That's him in. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's even easier than putting on these cloth diapers and even easier to make and wash. Yes, so the little squares and rectangles that you use on uh, rubber sheets initially, which you can't use anymore because of how active he is, that becomes uh, the diapers that you use. It looks like he's a little sumo wrestler with all his uh, <laughs> chubby, <laughs> chubbiness. So that was the last point that we had. I'm uh, hoping this is useful for all of you, that more of us... Um, Thank you for Stop watching. Do spread the word. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>